Hi everyone, welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me and welcome to another timeless pick a card reading. So today in the jar we have got song lyrics by Nina Simone and I'm featuring Nina Simone as an artist exclusively because I will be doing a master's episode on her in the near future. I don't know exactly when. I've been working on it for a while and I still haven't got around to making it but hopefully it'll appear in the next maybe week or two. Let's see how I go. But as always pick from between group one, group two and group three and I'll see you in your reading. Hi there group one, if you chose group number one then you are in the right place. Let's take a look and see what cards you've drawn through. Now, as with all of my readings, take on board what resonates and discard what doesn't. Okay, we've got belonging. This is from the Lord Ganeshji deck. Wow, how beautiful. Love these cards. We've got walking away. Isn't that amazing? We've got belonging and then we've got walking away straight afterwards. Amazing. We have Scorpio. We have beautiful goddess Sita. So you've got a goddess joining you today, which is so incredible. I love this depiction. So beautiful. The tarot, you've got the strength card in reverse. You've got the knight of wands upright. And let's see, last one, Eight of Wands. All right, let's take a look and see what this is all about. To me, I'm seeing some very specific messages come through. So as with any of my readings, if you feel like this isn't you, then don't continue see how you go in the first you know couple of minutes if it doesn't grab you might not be for you but what I'm seeing these two were really striking for me today when I looked at these briefly earlier because I was a bit puzzled I was like what we've got belonging and we've got walking away coming straight afterwards that was a real puzzle for me but do you know it makes perfect sense because I see that you've got two options in the situation that you're in you can either stay or you can leave. Now, this is what occurred to me, this is what occurred to my intuition. For everyone, everyone will interpret these slightly differently, but this is how I interpreted it. Whoops, got a bit of wind. How I interpret, hmm, interesting, wind. And that came onto the belonging card. Hmm, let's see if that needs to be factored in. Well, we do have a lot of fire up here. This strength card is Leo. Okay, and that's in the reverse position. And I think this is indicative of how you feel right now. I think you're not feeling strong or you might be feeling drained or you might be feeling a bit tired. You might be feeling a bit unsure as to what to do. Do I stay? Yeah, the wind keeps wanting to lift this. Oh, and the wind is lifting this as well. Didn't realize it was windy today. Hold on. We can sort this out. Just put that there. Right, now. It's this, should I stay or should I go? I, I feel like you're in this situation where you're wondering, should I stay or should I go? And this is how I'm reading it. So this is kind of specific. If you stay, what I feel is that, to me, this card links in with this card and this card. If you stay, you will continue to be the loyal and dutiful person that you are. And you're brilliant at that but you will remain hidden, okay? And that might be something you want to do. Um, that's a good option. Sometimes we like to be a bit hidden. I know I sure do. Sometimes I quite like um, that people don't, 
you know, pay too much attention to me or whatever. Uh, sometimes that's a preferable option. So that option is on the table for you. You can stay, you can continue to be loyal, loyal and you will be hidden. Now what happens if you walk away? Well, I see that this begins to open up for you and there's a little ant crawling. <laughs> Come on, Mr. Ant, go away. Sorry, Ant. I'm not, you know, it's just moving it. No harm was done to any ants in the making of this video, <laughs> okay? So if you walk away, what I'm seeing is that this will become upright. You'll find your strong Leo self and you will shine. We've got a lot of fire here. Look at that. And this is fast fire. So it feels like there'll be a fast and rapid change. If you walk away, you will find your strength. Uh, and you'll also, you're going to have to be really creative. You're going to have to arrange things quickly. Or you're going to have to move quickly. Or you're going to have to... There's some, these are the two kind of fastest cards in the deck, really, when it comes to speed. It's like they can be interpreted as rush energy, but they can also be interpreted that it's just speed, it's just fast. Like you'll have a rapid change, I think, if you were to walk away. And I also think if you were to walk away, I also think you'll find your strength. And sometimes when we walk away, we have to go it alone. And um, what I'm seeing in this situation is that if you are staying, there's a kind of a dependency at play. There's loyalty and dependency because with water, we have dependence. That's one of the things that goes along with water. So it's a very interesting situation. And I feel like if you stay, you as an independent person you're like yeah the independence is not there look at that leo is in reverse right this is i'm pretty sure this is typically a leo card i mean it is look she's um got the lion head there so and typically this is depicted mm, this is quite interesting how they've depicted it because usually she's got her hand in the mouth of the lion Whereas this is not depicted that way. This is you are the lion. That's interesting as well. See, I do think if you walk away, you become the lion. You will have to be in a leadership capacity or, mm, interesting, someone in their garden just laughed. Hmm. We've had wind, we've had laughter. I take that as positive. There's something, I don't know, I kind of... I'm, for me, I feel like walking away might be really hard to do, but I feel like you will find your strength. You'll be Leo the leader. And there will be a rush and there will be fast change, fast paced movement and change. But I definitely see that you've kind of you've got these two options on the table. And I also the other thing is, as I was saying earlier, one is not better than the other. Okay, one must never think that, oh, it's better to be Leo the leader than to be Scorpio. Scorpio, to be, to be hidden, to be, you know, meditating in a cave, that's wonderful, right? To not be seen, to um, be succeeding and winning, but being hidden, that's quite, that's wonderful, you know? Like, it's not a bad thing at all. Oh, we've got Maggie the magpie join us over there. That's interesting. But she's not coming here. I can see she's quite busy. Let's take a look and see what song lyric is going to come for this group. I'm so curious. There are five songs in here and we are going to take one. So let's see what comes with this group. This is going to be very interesting. I've been enjoying studying Nina Simone. She's quite incredible, you know, as an artist. Great voice, great songs, great talent. Oh, wow, look at that. We got all this fire here. No way, this is, sorry, I'm just so excited. It says, played with fire and I was burned. Gave a heart, but I was spurned. All these times I have yearned just to have my love return. 
Wow, keeper of the flame. Played with fire and I was burned. Yeah. That is fascinating that that comes for this group which has so much fire. Amazing. You see, and it's an interesting one. That, that's what I was trying to communicate earlier, which maybe I didn't communicate, which was to say that whichever option you take, I don't, I don't want to say one way is better than another. Both are very good. And this, to me, this is a little bit, it's a bit of a love life thing. I am interpreting this in a work context, but this could be a love situation. Of course this could. Played with fire and I was burned. This is that kind of song, it's like, I give so much, you know, and when, when is a little something coming to me, isn't it? And I think something is coming to you, but because we see we don't have any pentacles on the table and we don't have any cups. So I think you're... I think when you get through this particular situation what's going to happen is and there's going to be some uh, speedy energy there's going to be oh wow we've got some honking there yeah speedy energy car there's going to be some movement and then just to have your love return like something will be coming in for you but it's I kind of feel like this is not there's something you have to do before the universe can bring the next thing to you there's something you've got to do and it involves it's something along either you stay or you go but the interesting thing here is that neither option is better than the other so I'm definitely not going to say oh if you stay that's not good no if you stay that could be very good because look, we've got a goddess here we've got Sita and she was loyal and it's beautiful to be loyal it's beautiful it's beautiful to stay you know but if you stay this was in its upside down position I mean I, I do think it could be there could be a little something that is draining you in the current situation that you're in that you're thinking of staying in kind of thing played with fire and I was burned gave a heart but I was spurned all these times I have yearned just to have my love return you will your love will return. When we echo things out to the universe, it does come back. So keep giving out your love, no matter which of these two paths you take. Just keep doing your path with love. Keep being love. Keep sending out love. Keep doing that. This is a great card of love as well. Strength. You've got the strength to keep loving and to keep giving out love no matter what. Because you know that that is your inner nature, that that is who you are. You know that. So keep being love and everything's going to be amazing. Wow, keeper of the flame. That's significant as well. The flame, the sun, Leo, fire. We've got three fire. I mean, it's fire. You are the keeper of the flame. You are love. You are that. You are strong. It's okay to be a bit tired now and then, sure. But you are that, you are this flame. You're doing amazing, group one. And I think just, yeah, there's some choice point, but take it. And, and then see what happens. See what happens. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for tuning in. 
I'm a bit behind on comments. I'm also a bit behind on emails, so please bear with me. But um, hopefully I'll be able to get to your comments soon. Thank you so much. Every comment helps me so much. And especially, yeah, the ones where you show me what's happening in your life situation and it directly corresponds. It's quite incredible, isn't it, when that happens. So if this is you, let me know. I'd love to hear that. Thank you so much for tuning in and I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi there, group number two. If you chose group number two, then you are in the right place. Let's take a look and see what cards you drew through. Now, as with any of my readings, please take on board what resonates and please discard what doesn't. And if like you get into the reading two, three minutes, you feel it's not you, you don't have to watch the whole thing. You can just, you know, stick around if it's you. Uh, reflection. Well, we've got a little bit of reflected light here on this card. How beautiful. I love these Lord Ganesh Ji cards. They're so sweet. Okay. Oh, yes, I remember you, group two. All tied up. Isn't that incredible? I've just come out of group one and, yeah, there's... I don't know. Some There were some similarities, I remember, between these two groups this time you're a bit unique though uh, let's have a look here Jupiter expansion gratitude morality and enlightenment yeah I think that's pretty good summation right there we have Tejas Another beautiful card. We've got a lot of these uh, aqua blue type colors. Kind of fifth chakra type colors going on there. For tarot, you've got the ace of wands upright. You've got the eight of cups in reverse. We have we have an ant join us. Maybe it's the same ant from group. I'll just leave it <laughs> from group one. The joys of shooting outdoors. Okay, and the tower upright. Wow, far out. Okay, wow. Okay, what do I see here? Well, I do remember looking at you, and this is where, because after I saw group one, and then I saw you guys, and it's like, you guys also have this walking away thing. The striking thing I saw here was that walking away I'll wait for the ant to move yep wait so oh well okay so the, the ant hasn't walked away um hold on a second come on ant time to move here we go it's all right he's safe I checked um eight of cups yeah so look when this is upright this is the classic walking away card but you are not walking away. Look, it's being said twice. You're not walking away. And then we've got this card of all tied up. And it was really interesting because in group one, I got the feeling that they've got the opportunity to walk away or to stay. Whereas with you, it's a very clear message that you're not going anywhere. Okay. <laughs> so that is in here. There's something about you're, you're not going anywhere. It, and it doesn't see yeah uh, are you stuck this is this is the big question um how i saw this card was that it's a bit of fantasy i was kind of looking at pisces and i was looking at the fact that i feel like you'd love to get away that's how i read this card that you would love to get away but for some reason you can't i think change is coming We've got that depicted very clearly here. Change is coming. This is not forever. This is a very temporary thing, whatever this is. This stuckness or, or that you feel that, you know, you, you, I think you want a change. And I think the change that is coming is going to be very good because this was the card that came after this one. It's a positive change. The change that's going to happen is going to enable you to be so much more creative 
than you've ever been before. And a big part of your life purpose, and for you this is all about life purpose type stuff that's coming in here. You are this incredible spark of light and you've got a duty to which I think you feel to the collective and you want to be of service you want to help others you want to there's a, a bright spark and a real intelligence about you and that you must share this with the world it's so important and it's going you're going to have the opportunity to do so but it's going to come after a shake-up or it's going to come after some change some something's got to change but when it does you're going to be so much more creative than you've ever been this card is just lovely it's just beautiful it's just reflection it's just asking you are you getting some time to be on your own oh we've got quite a bit of wind <gasps> I hope these don't fly oh no I hope they stay where they are those cards <sighs> it'll be all right I can keep going wow there's a lot of wind and a lot of wind came for you guys because there was some wind in the other group isn't that interesting I'm just going to make sure those will stay where they are I think how about we just kind of do this so these stay I'm going to keep this in I'm not going to start recording again because this might be needed the wind the winds of change look at that you got a big gust of wind the other group had little bits of wind you've got a massive whoosh and that has never happened while I've been out here so I'm keeping that that you've got the winds of change are coming for you and you're going to need some kind of big change that's going to just make everything fly and disrupt and yeah th that is actually what you need and that will come look at that and it's died down isn't that beautiful and when it dies down what's opening up for you is this extraordinary creativity this could also be love this could also be like a new partner as well and an, an, an excitement in love perhaps that you haven't felt before or somebody new comes in or something like that there could be something like that as well so I'm not saying that it's just work or your creativity it could be love as well but let's take a look at this reflection so when there was that time of reflecting just now you know we had that massive gust of wind and it just it just kind of took care of everything didn't it it just rearranged things and gave the space to be creative it's that I feel like if you take some time out if you reflect if you be kind and loving to yourself and look at that there's a pomegranate there so treat yourself lavish yourself enjoy good foods write things down that's a kind of peacock feather you know um, quill type thing isn't it I think that's what that is write things down dream journal pamper yourself be you and let the change happen and it will kind of just happen in the background like the winds of change it was invisible it just kind of happened and it rearranged all of these look we can't see the walking away thing now we can see her though <laughs> let's cover her up there we go <laughs> There's a number five there. Do you know that's a very significant number because I always see that as the number of change. And this is always temporary. This is kind of like the Eight of Swords. It's that thing where it's illusion. These things where we feel bound and where we feel, you know, stuck or whatever. It's always illusion, really. It's hard sometimes to, um, to see that. Well, anyway, let's take a look and see what song lyric you're going to draw through for this group and these are all songs by Nina Simone I'm studying her she's such a fascinating case study and I can't wait to make the master series on her I've been, I've been studying her like I think it was some weeks ago I just haven't got around to sitting down and writing the script I hope I get some time soon I've been doing uh, client readings been quite busy Oh, how fantastic. Yes. Yes. This is so good. 
I wish I could say all the things that I should say. <gasps> that is insane. Because wasn't I just talking about the fact that these are the blue colors of the fifth chakra? Oh, this is so perfect. You've drawn through exactly the right song. This is amazing. I was wondering how it would go with Nina Simone, but it's going good so far. This is amazing. I wish I could say all the things that I should say. Say them loud, say them clear, for the whole round world to hear. I wish I knew how it would feel to be free. I love this song of hers, and she actually didn't write this one, but she sings it the absolute best. She is so... She really comes to life when she sings this song. And it's my favorite song that, that she sings. It's incredible. And it's all about freedom. It's all about, look at that. It's all about this. It's all about the freedom to be your full self. And when you hear the lyrics of this song, do have a listen because I just absolutely love this song. It, it kind of starts very gradual, but then it just rises into this amazing, powerful song where you just feel so inspired and it's all about you know I, I want to express who I am and I want to share all the love that's inside me and it's all this beautiful stuff and you've got the ace of wands rods here and this card is fire and yeah I do kind of see like the sun comes through this song like in a really powerful way because the sun is all about infinity, no limits, no blockages. This is such a beautiful song. And this is where you're heading to. You're walking into the sun you know, as you continue to do your life. And those are the Upachaya houses. The Upachaya houses are 3, 6, 10, 11. The, those are the houses where the sun transits really well. I'm pretty sure I've got that right. Yeah, it is. If you have a look at the... Um, I've got a transit thing in my... Well, anyway, but like I've got this thing where I put little stars where the transits are. Some of you who have that PDF, you'll know what I mean. But the, the point is that you just want freedom, don't you? And, and of course you do. Look, we've got these two. There is a stuckness here. There is a, you can't walk away and, and you're feeling tied up. You, you really want freedom. I know, I can see that. Th that's what this song is all about. This song is all about, I just want to be free. I just want to be my true, authentic self. And I don't want anything holding me back. And you know, that is you. And you connect with that by being in the now. By being in the here and now. So you see, time is illusion. And interestingly, astrology, you know, it, astrology is, uh, we're looking at the past, we're looking at the future. We're just dealing with concepts. But you who you are, that infinite sun that you are, that's the fire that's creative and expressing and that's on, that's alive. Where's the life? The life is in the now. So I wish I knew how it would feel to be free. Well, you could read Eckhart Tolle's Power of Now and, and, and be free in the now, you know. That we, can, we can be this free and full self right now. And that's this, because there's illusion here. This, when, when people are tied up in these tarot cards, it's always illusion. It's not, you know, the Eight of Swords. It's not a... It is illusion. It is um, like a Shakespeare play, you know. This is, the, this is the dream that we wake up out of. The 3D earthly reality dream. And we wake up out of that. Oh, I'm super excited for you, group number two. I think you've drawn through amazing cards. And I think just, yeah, just reflect on all of this. Enjoy reflecting and let the wind carry you where, where it needs to take you. And look at that wind, all that wind came. Wind is very much about freedom. You, know, you look at kind of like Swati Nakshatra, like those kind of wind, those three, seven and 11. These people are all about freedom. 11 Aquarius, the humanitarians, right? They're all about freedom. Oh, I love this reading, group number two. Well, thank you so much to those of you 
who came uh, to be here part of group number two. And I hope this has been a good reading for you. Let me know in the comments below how you got on. I love to hear your stories. And I'm a bit behind on emails and comments, but um, please do know I will get to everyone uh, as soon as I can. So thank you so much for tuning in and I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi there, group number three. If you chose group number three, then you are in the right place. Let's take a look and see what cards you drew through. Now, as with any of my readings, please take on board what resonates and please discard what doesn't. Wow, how beautiful. I love this card. Oh, I must take a picture of it. That is so beautiful. Innocence. That says number 43, doesn't it? Yeah. Wow, seven. I remember you, group three. This is a very spiritual group that we've got here. You guys are high vibe, let me tell you. I was so impressed by your cards. I'm remembering you now. Great start. Look at that. Then we've got third chakra, Archangel Chamuel. Okay. Let's try and focus that. There we go. Beautiful. He's even got some yellow at his heart. Interesting. Okay, lovely. Oh, sextile. This is a lovely energy as well. They were all amazing. This group. I was really impressed. Hang on. Oh. Where is your... Oh, there it is. I'm going to have to, please excuse me, I'm going to have to pick yours up. The wind took it away. Oh, interesting. Okay. Right. Hang on. I'm going to have to try and sit down without breaking my knees. There we go. <laughs> okay. Right. This was the card that was all the way over there, like a meter away. Sattva. What is the depiction? What is that? Is that a lady with a kind of... Yeah, it's like a... Okay. It's kind of like a veil. Just trying to figure that out. Wind, sky, all that kind of thing. No wonder the card flew all the way over there. That's interesting. Okay, for tarot, you have got the Four of Pentacles in reverse. Interesting. You've got, oh, the Emperor upright. Wow, yes, that's very good. And you've got the Page of Pentacles upright. Okay, so this is a super positive high vibe group that we've got here. Because when I saw this, I was just like, wow. What a beautiful spread. What an absolutely beautiful spread. We've got this card of innocence and sattva appearing, right? How perfect is that? What an amazing start. And when I saw this, I, one of the thought that came into my mind is that like, and this might not be physical, but I'll just give you the example. It could be metaphorical, but there's something about you at the moment, or this is going to happen, but like you've got you've got a very pure diet or something. I know this sounds really weird, but I, I got the sense that like you're enjoying eating fruits and veggies or something and you don't you genuinely don't have desire for anything else. That was one of the things I picked up. And take that to mean what you consume as well. Like maybe you've cleaned up your diet. Maybe you're not watching mainstream media news anymore. Or maybe you are you know, being very selective with, I don't know, there's something about innocence or there's something about you just enjoying the simple good things in life. This is a good, wholesome life here. It's like, and you're enjoying that or you want that. Maybe you're making changes to make more of that happen. But you're enjoying where you're at, I'm getting. I'm also getting that, like, I think you're, you're doing great with this whole thing of surrender. I think you're, 
you're very good at surrender that's what I got because this is holding on and you're either very good at letting go or you're about to let go and this the letting go is what's going to is what's bringing all of this in and this is all just so wonderful this is all so good I haven't this is such a fantastic spread I just got such a high vibe feeling from this group this is all about harmony about good times integration cooperation tools skills ingenuity harmony empathy beautiful right beautiful card I feel like when it comes to your third chakra you're doing great you're not you're strong you know but you're not like you're strong in the right way and you have no need to overpower anyone or have power over anyone you have no need for that equally you are not yes the word is coming to, to my mind doormat you're not being a doormat to anyone you're not you've, you've just i feel like you've found this incredible balance or something or or it is the case that when you let go this is going to materialize okay so yeah for, for this group it's either happening right now or when you let go all these amazing things are going to happen so there's a real strength and courage about you. There's also strength and courage here. There's great ability to interact one-on-one -on -one with individuals, okay? So with the root chakra, that is, you know, red, but that is tribe, okay? So that is like lots of people. And then second chakra is like intimate. Uh, you and your husband, you and your dear friend that you love. It's you and your creativity. And when we get to the third chakra, it is kind of one-on-one -on -one interactions. But, you know, I, I tend to think, yeah, it's more constructing your world, business-type interactions, that sort of thing. And I learned all of that type of thing from Caroline Mace, in case anyone wants to learn um, the chakra system. She's a very good person to learn it from. And Deborah King as well. She's very good. The Emperor. I've got this sense that you are ready and happy to take charge of your own life you know if you've got this chakra going great and these are the great materializers great businessmen will have we've got a lot of bird sounds interesting so i i mean great businessmen this is where i was talking about here they have a fantastic third chakra they're able to materialize they're able to have lots of one-on-one -on -one interactions with you know if you're running a giant company and you've got lots of staff and contractors and these people and that people you have to deal one-on-one -on -one with so many people and there's kind of an expansion here like or a possibility like if you've got this chakra going strong going good you've got the confidence and the ability to take charge of your own life to grow your business or to grow your interactions with other people so beautiful there's so much good here then we've got this page of pentacles opening up here and I I always read this as being a new level of finance so you are up for or you know ready to take on a whole new income stream or take on a whole new way of doing money or um, yeah it's some, there's something new around money so it could be you taking in a new income stream because you've got the energy, you've got that right here, you've got this take charge spirit, you, you've cleaned up so much of your life. There's so much purity and, and wholesomeness and readiness, you know, and, and this sextile, this cooperation, this harmony. Look at that. This all speaks volumes about how you can, you're ready to, Take on more responsibility in life, manage a bigger team, do more work, interact more, take on new sources of income, new streams of income. This is all about growth and this is all about expansion and this is all about a readiness. And all of this comes in, why? Because you've mastered letting go. And I don't want to say mastered letting go as if like, you know, you've mastered mastered it like in a sort of Dalai Lama sort of way but because like we never really master anything do we we're, this is the plane where we're eternally learning but you have come to a place where you've learned how to let go in such a way that it's it's 
cleared up so much space look at that how many cards six cards worth of just good of just abundance good great like because you've figured this out you've figured out how to let go it's absolutely incredible because when you let go more of your real authentic self is what comes through this is what you really are you know um fantastic so good okay let's see what nina simone's song you're gonna get so i'm working with the energy of nina simone these days i'm studying her chart i want to put her in the masters series so that's why she is here hopefully i can get on and write that script so it's been in my to-do list for like i don't know how many weeks guys <laughs> oh, that's how it goes all right let's see oh how incredible this is this might have been the best song lyric thing I've ever done. This is incredible because I know those two songs in there, they're a little bit depressing. So we've done really well with the songs today. Let's have a look. Feeling Good by Nina. Of course you are. This is like such a high vibe group. Man. Wow. It's a new dawn. It's a new day. It's a new life for me. And I'm feeling good. Yes, of course you are. Of course you are. This is, I mean, that could not be more perfect. Oh, I love doing this. It's so much fun. These song lyrics have been good. Thank you, Nina Simone. Wow. I think we're going to leave on a high, guys. And it often happens that when a group is really good, I just saw 1111 on my screen. When a group is really good, you know, it doesn't need to be too long. You know, it's sometimes when people are if people are in a pickle or something like that then yeah obviously we need to go a bit longer but um because things the energy is so good here it's just like just enjoy this and thank you so much group three for drawing these cards through me this has been fantastic please do let me know how you get on in the comments below i love to hear from you and if i'm delayed getting back um it's only because i've just been really busy so thank you so much for tuning in and I look forward to seeing you next time.